prolong the battery life and possibly the battery health of your device, which I'll make a separate video on that. Now the main thing that you can do and the easiest thing that you can do to get noticeably better battery life immediately is to just turn on low power mode. So as you can see, I don't have it enabled, but if you go into settings and if you scroll down into battery, which is right there, and then you turn on low power mode, which is right there. If you just enable that, this will make your phone a little bit slower turn off a lot of background processes and a ton of different things here and there in order to prolong the battery life of your phone. That's immediately the main thing you can do and you probably already know that. Now that's not like the best thing you can do but it's like the fastest thing. It's right there, right in your face so you can immediately do that. Now another thing you can do is obviously turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. All you guys probably already know that. That's a really really easy thing you can do and it'll save you a ton of battery life down in the day. However, if you're using these things, then obviously you can keep them on, but you can always toggle them off there too, which will just temporarily turn them off. Now, a really cool thing that a lot of you guys will know is that all these apps that you have on your phone, most of the time are constantly getting updates in the background, whether you like them or not. So to limit this, what you want to do is you want to go down to your settings, you want to go into general, then you want to scroll down into background app refresh, which is right there. Now, all of these apps for the most part are taking data from the background of your phone. Most of the time, you know, you give them permission so it's not like illegal or anything like that. But what you can do and to save the most amount of battery life, you want to disable all these that you aren't currently using. You know, now again, you don't want to disable the ones like Snapchat or Instagram if you're getting notifications from them because that'll limit the amount of notifications you're going to get from them, including WhatsApp and all those. However, if you're somebody that doesn't need that trigger notifications or Candy Crush, I don't even know why that's on my phone, or Byte or all these ones, every single one you turn off will eventually and inevitably help you out in terms of your battery life so in, in order to prolong it. So here I'll just go and turn these off, I don't use them. And you can just go down the list and see which ones you do use and which ones you don't, and just kind of go from there. So that's a major one. I used to do this on my Android phone, and you can do this on your iOS device too, which is really cool. Now.